Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... <laughs> Okay, honestly, I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh-oh, they're coming to get me. Stop that man from talking about Venus. And he lands on the moon. And then he dies. Did he successfully land on the moon? You know what I'm saying? Put your pom-poms away. Your team lost. Or they tied. They did not win. Well, well, well. Let me cover list A, AccuWeather's top space stories. I'm going to cover list B, Universe Today's top space stories, and then I'm going to do my own space story list and combine them all into one big video. But I'm going to put them out in three parts first. Just uh, let you know, Strato J. Sweet, man. Oh, five science breakthroughs, 2014 for this. Brought to us by AccuWeather.com and Mark Leberfinger. Ooh, see, I agree with number one over here. Universe Today said Philly was number one. And it's like, come on, man. Like, seriously. Put your pom-poms away. Your team lost. Or they tied. They did not win. I give it to Orion. Hello, first girlfriend. No, my problem. That was extremely impressive. Good job, Lockheed Martin. And NASA. What? Pluto became a planet again. When that happened? Pluto, which was discovered in 1930 by astronomer Clyde Tombaugh was demoted by the International Astronomical Union, IAU, to dwarf planet status in 2006. The IAU now considers the solar system to consist of eight planets. Oh, well, the solar system still consists of Pluto, man. <laughs> you know, it's a whole system, bro. Oh, that bunny looks scared. Wait, Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics held a debate in September about whether Pluto should be a planet. Okay, cool. Astronauts print first 3D object in space, taking us one step closer to the singularity gaining its final form and humanity becoming gray goo. Awesome. Awesome. Researchers find five previously undetected greenhouse gases. Well, hey, guess what? Are you saying that we don't fully understand the climate and weather? No, why? Chlorofluorocarbons and hydro... Of chlorofluorocarbons. Nature geoscience. Flay. Comma landing. Named top breakthrough of 2014. I don't know. It's like, like if you have an astronaut. And he lands on the moon. And then he dies. Did he successfully land on the moon? You know what I'm saying? God. Why do I have to pick astronomy, man? You know? Like, WTF. You should have just picked some type of really popular group and... Mildly changed up the exact same thing they were saying, and then I wouldn't be stuck in the fortress of solitude. I get to cuddle a lot. Probably married with kids. Well, this top five lift is depressing. F you, AQ weather. No, I'm just kidding, man. I'm in a good mood. I'm alive! Trust me. People are like, how you feeling? I'm like, I'm alive. Great. Okay, so it only took us one comment before two comments, really. The whole political fight started. Five cool things about science, and we're, we're reduced to liberals are stupid. No, conservatives are stupid. Hey, <laughs> guess what? You're both right. <laughs> okay, I guess let's go over to Universe Today. All right, we'll compare and contrast that with Universe Today, Universe Today's top 10 space stories of 2014. <laughs> So, what was the meeting like at the ESA when they were like, all right, just in case the mission doesn't go exactly as we planned it to, and the lander lands in the shade, considering like 33% of the entire place is covered in shade, how many days battery power do you think we should equip it with? You know, just so we can at least tell the public we landed, and it's a total victory. And the other guy was like, one day, maybe battery power one day? Two days to be safe, you know. The guy's like, by Jove, you've got it. We'll give the lander two days of battery power. 
and then it will die if it lands in this shade. All right, I guess I'll put together my own list. Give me some time. All right, I guess I'll put together my own list. Give me some time.